let me just take you through the generic process of um, logging in and getting set up. This may not look exactly like the assignment that you're looking at, but the general idea is there. Um, either it's a link from Google Classroom, or it's a link off of a PDF, or it's a QR code. Um, any of these things will zap you or send you to um, a GeoGebra file. So for instance, if I clicked on that link, it's going to take me to a GeoGebra file. And this is a really important thing is that notice we haven't done any logging in yet. We haven't done anything. So it takes us to a generic location uh, where we have a task to accomplish. Now, again, this may not look exactly like your assignment. It might um, if you're doing the mini golf one. But the idea is when it brings you here, the, the key is that you have to first identify that you're the one going to work on this file. So you click on the three bars and down here is the key to say sign in. If another name is there, another user, another person, you, you must sign them out, which you would click on their name and it would say sign out and then you would sign in. If it still signs them in or something goofy like that, that probably means that in Chrome or Google or somewhere, they're still logged in somewhere. But you want to click on sign in um, and then it will ask you to sign in. You'll sign in using your Google account. It'll take you there. And uh, again, well, see it auto logged me in. Now that's kind of an interesting thing here. Um, it did uh, send me in as who I am or who this who I am as a student. What that means is that why it auto logged me in there is in another window, uh, one of the other windows actually in classroom, which I had open, I was already logged in as that person. And so it knew who I was. If it logged you in and it wasn't you, then you need to go to one of those windows or places to sign those people out. And then you can log in as yourself. This is the login process. But what's essential with working with anything with GeoGebra when you when you use a link to go there is you must first click on the three bars and make sure your name is there. Now when you work for the next while on any of these applets, when it opens up, it will know it's you and you will be able to save and share and do all those things as you. Very, very important. Thanks.